In the summer of 1978, a bountiful wheat crop covers the North China Plain. On Wuxing Commune, 240 kilometers south of Peking, the peasants are hoping for a record harvest. 80% of the one billion Chinese people live in the countryside, so growing food for them is the first business of the nation. But the land was not always so productive. For generations, the people here could not grow enough food, no matter how hard they worked. Through six centuries, the plain was ravaged by droughts and floods, which took countless lives by drowning and starvation. Old people still remember how their parents had to wander the country begging for food. The flood waters would rage down out of the eroded mountains, inundating thousands of square miles of land. When Chairman Mao Zedong declared the People's Republic in 1949, he set out to transform the social and economic system of the country. The first task was to feed and clothe everyone. In the 30 years since then, every man, woman, and child has been mobilized in a national struggle for survival. Every person's work directed by the government to serve the interests of their country. The half million villages have been consolidated into communes. The basic policy has been to improve village life and to prevent a drift to the cities. To absorb surplus labor, small industries have been set up everywhere using local resources. The standard of living is still low, but basic needs are now provided for everyone. This film is about day-to-day -day life in one small rural commune in Hopei province. The 14,500 peasants of Wuxing People's Commune feed themselves off only 3,000 acres of land. Virtually self-sufficient, they are a microcosm of the hundreds of millions of Chinese who have been mobilized to take their part in the national effort. At 5.30 on a morning in early June, Yu Lu Chao, 63 years of age, and his neighbor go to the vegetable field to put in an hour's work before breakfast. Thank <laughs> you. 